I felt really good coming into the tournament because I had a good like couple of weeks coming up into it. Like I played well at Scottish Boys, uh, stroke play, and had a good week at the Scottish Amateur. I had my brother come down with me, and there were just good vibes the whole week. We just kind of, I could just kind of, I felt good. I felt relaxed, and me and my brother were going to the cinema, so I wasn't always thinking about the golf, and I think that really helped. I had a bad start, and then I was three down through five. When I got to the sixth hole, I started to kind of. Just think, let's just start again here. Like, if I can back to all square through 18 holes, then start fresh and hopefully keep holding some putts. And uh, I hold like three, I hold about a 40 footer on six, and then about a 20 footer on seven, and then like about another 15 footer on eight to get back to all square straight away. And that just totally settled me down. I got four up through 18, and I went in for lunch. My brother was ball spotting for me, and we decided that. If we just start at the second 18 as if it's all square, I just came out running, just birdies and pars, lots of birdies and pars, especially in the, in the conditions, and I kind of saw them off pretty early. There was a big crowd there, there was hundreds and hundreds of people watching me in the final, and 30, 40 people coming to watch me from my home club in the final, driving four hours in there and four hours back just to come and watch me play golf was amazing. Fair's Den has always been really good to me. We, we, we always knew I had, I had the game to win big tournaments, but me and my dad were always talking about just, it'll happen, it'll happen, and it just, for me to finally get a big, a big win off, off my back was just brilliant, because it meant so much to me, and as soon as I hold the puck, and I looked at my, my parents were just crying at the side, and that's when it, I realised, wow, it's, I'm glad I've done it for them as well. The support from the SU has been so amazing, because like, they took me to Dubai and Abu Dhabi for three and a half weeks there in uh, November. And that was just, um, like, great because you're practicing in the sun where everyone here is in the freezing cold and rain and blowing a gale. It's great meeting Colin today. Sponsors like that give you the opportunity to play so many events throughout the year, which really helps, obviously. As you probably know, like, all the events you play and help you keep getting better, you know what you need to work on then. So it's been great being in the hydro today and meeting some of the sponsors for, the, for Scottish Golf. And I hope to keep progressing and meeting people like that. From a Scottish hydro perspective, the fact that we support golf at many levels, Ewan's had a tremendous year. We've been delighted to support that along with all the other boys on the, on the, the Order of Merit. It's been a great year and it was great showing them around the SSE hydro today. It's something a little bit different. I know he's a, a bit of a music fan as well. so. It was nice for him to see what is Scotland's new home of live entertainment. We're also involved with SUU Membership Club, which is really kicking off this year, so that's great. That's supporting, you know, the, the, the you and I golfer, the person that turns up every week, no matter what the weather's like. And then we move on to some of the events that we've done for a number of years now, which is, you know, whether that's through the Scottish Hydro Challenge, supporting the Challenge Tour, whether that's with the SSE Scottish Seniors in August. I think the fact that there is levels of support all the way through, and that's, you know, Hats off to both the Tour and the SDU for making it, putting that in place. So there is a progression plan and I'd be delighted if, if one of these young guys came through and uh, I sit one day watching them on the telly sinking the putt that wins a, a major tournament. I've been thinking about that trophy for probably about, since I was about 12. All the people that have won it, um, like watching it on TV, like Sergio Garcia, obviously Jose Maria, Olis Abel, Tom Lewis is on the European Tour. That, I absolutely love watching TV on the European Tour. So many big names on there, but another thing you've got to look at is there's so many names on there as well that you look at and you think, why did he not make it? So I don't want to be one of the guys, and I'm just going to try and keep working hard and be one of the guys that maybe another boy will look at and go, Ian Ferguson's on there. But my dad just keeps telling me, he says, you're not the finished article yet, so lots of work to do.